Okay, first poem, Crisis. If this is your brain, right? We have the left side and the right side. The right side is all about creativity. Okay, it's irrational, and this represents heart. Left side, it's about logic, it's analytical. This represents hoof. And it's this constant back and forth in crisis. Do we think with our heads? Do we think with our hearts? We always, always, always want to think with our heart because we're emotional beings, we're emotional creatures. And Wolf is just like, look, please, we, we need to part ways. Second poem, Kenya Edisir. I want you to think of a poor fisherman and a relatively wealthy customer. The poor fisherman is like, oh, we have to undergo so much out at sea. There's so many dangers. I could die. My boat could topple. There are so many dangers posed to me. And... Our relatively wealthy customer is just like, okay, cool story, bro, but your fish is too expensive. Vietin Skap Manikis, you scientists, you guys are taking the joy, the Friechte, out of nature, out of the earth, the sun, the stars, the sky. It's meant to be enjoyed, it's meant to be loved, it's not meant to be overanalyzed. And we know that our little girl over here, she's just saying all of this. She's criticizing Vietinskap, Viskinder, all of this because she's getting 26%. So maybe, just maybe, if she was a bit better at school, she'd actually like science. But she's written this poem because, well, I hate science. Examen local. Again, it's just the conditions of the examination room. The omstandigheide, the circumstances surrounding the examination room. It's dead, dead, dead quiet. No one's really speaking. But we can hear our examiners, our invigilators, like high heels, just clinking around. And this white versus blue comparison, you know, like the white paper, the blue ink, it's it's very tense, okay? People are very anxious, alas, angstach. Dance van Irien, we want the rain to come. We want these gorgeous, beautiful descriptions of the rain. We want fauna and flora to flourish. Okay, our little plants are going to be really happy. Our, our animals, this is also the reason why I don't teach art. How's, how's that? How's that? Should I start making some art videos, some art prank videos? Yeah. We just, we don't want this drought. We don't want to suffer. Rain has all these very positive connotations here. Hax van Hextrafir. Um, this is my partner, my soon-to-be fiance's favorite poem. She loves this one. The Hex van Hexrefeer, the witch of Hex River. So a very, very beautiful girl. Okay, look, believe it or not, that that is a girl. Uh, and she's like, oh, you know, she thinks she's like a baddie. You know what I'm saying? And there's actually this guy, his name is Flip Durant. Um, okay, this is like the more like real version of the poem. Um, they're both in love with each other, but she decides to send him off on this wild goose chase to find this uh, little red orchid. Let me just draw like a red, a red orchid here. And our guy, Philip Durand, unfortunately, he can't find um, his footing properly enough when he gets this red orchid uh, and he, he slips off the cliff and he dies. This is over the Mathrosbach uh, mountain range. And this girl, uh, all of a sudden, her smile, boom, it goes away and she kills herself. Very, very sad. Hashtag sad. Uh, she's also of Huguenot descent. She's of French descent. Spriarian. This one all about senses. Think of Nachi, like the mist from Anarchy. Anarchy. Think of Anais. And this reminds him of the very important woman in his life. A key message here is that smells can remind us of some very, very important people. Har Eidfart. I want you to think of a father and his daughter, his little daughter who dies of diphtheria, and the poem is just this progression about how she dies and how he's just so helpless. You know, there's that moment in life where you go from, well, being alive to being dead. You see the life slowly drain out of someone's eyes. They simply stop breathing, uh, and that is the progression, the ultimate progression of it all. Okay, Hans Wurz, all about a hunchback. Look, I'm not going to draw a hunchback, okay? That's very insensitive. You thought, you thought I was going to do it. Okay, just about a hunchback, and he literally gives all of his money um, away to his mom, because his mom is also a hunchback, and, you know, he's he's a very, very good son, and he lives a very difficult life, his clothes are always torn, he withstands so much abuse from the crowd, from his own colleagues, and he does all of it for his mother. For Hartlöper, please look at the top. There are two meanings for Hartlöper. There's a literal meaning and a figurative meaning as well. The literal meaning? Well, there's going to be someone fitter, faster, stronger who's going to come and eventually take your place. You can't stay at your game at the top of the at the top of your game for a considerable period. Okay, you'll get older, you'll get a bit weaker. There will be someone better. So, for how long are you going to stay at the top? Figurative meaning? Well, 
Hartloper, our sprinter, is also sprinting toward, well, death. So the inevitability of death, this idea of memento mori. So in summary, crisis, think of the brain, okay? Logic and rationality versus simply irrationality and emotions. Kenya this year, okay? Our struggling fisherman and our fat chap over here. Vietnam cup manikis, oh, I, I hate that you guys analyze everything. You know, like our little girl is like a Karen. Okay, how dare you overanalyze all of this? Life's meant to be beautiful, it's meant to be fun. But she's getting 26%. Umstander here, all the circumstances, the situation around an examination room. That's all it is, the tension, the anxiety. Dance of the rain, okay? We're welcoming the rain here. These gorgeous, beautiful descriptions. Hax van Hextrafir, this girl who thinks she's like, you know, all that, okay? And she loses the one she loves because she's got a bit of an ego. Sproirian, um, that, that mist coming from the Nachi aniseed reminds our speaker of all the important women in his life, Har Eidfart, a uh, father losing his daughter due to diphtheria, and she slowly dies in the ambulance, right? Through the poem, loads of progression there. Die Hansvors, our hunchback, who undergoes a lot of abuse just for his mother, and die Hartlöper, literal meaning, someone better is gonna come along, figurative meaning, well, it's also a race against time, a race against death. Okay, nice little video for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.